This can also happen due to sexual relationships. That body has a certain memory. Runanubhanda means the physical memory that you carry within you. This can happen because of blood relationship. This can also happen due to sexual relationships. That body has a certain memory. It's not appropriate to say genetic memory. Runanubhanda is not like genetic factors being transmitted from parent to child, not on that level. There is a physical memory of remembering where you came from. Not necessarily in terms of tone of your skin, shape of your nose, how you're built, your race, not that. It is just that if you just as much as hold somebody's hand, you will develop runanubandha. And there are many things, they won't give certain substances. Nobody will give salt to you or will receive salt from you. If you try to give them salt, you'll say, keep it here. They don't want to take it from your hands. The till or the sesame seeds, they won't take it from you. Certain types of soils, nobody will receive it from you. If you want to give soil to somebody, any kind of soil, there are rituals where soil is given, always you keep it down, I'll pick it from there. Never take it from somebody's hands because you will develop runanubandha. Because the culture is constantly conscious of not building bondage, to keep the bondage of life to the minimal extent, only to the extent it's necessary, because you're working towards your liberation. Because of that, this awareness and these sensitivities have come. So the body remembers any kind of intimacy not only with another physical body, any kind of intimacy, even with any physical substance, it remembers. Certain types of substances are more capable of doing this, certain other types are less. So, for this we… here in the temple they're doing klesha nashana. Have you been through it, anybody? The fire… fire wash? That is, if you're not getting cleaned with a regular shower, We're burning you out <laughs> So what Kleshanasana is a way of burning, various types of physical memories that we have picked up, not necessarily because of relationships, just by contact, just by coming in touch with so many things. People, situations, atmospheres, so many things this body picks up memory. If there's any kind of interaction, any kind of mingling and mixing of whatever kind, if you're in a crowd for too long, when you go home, first thing is shower. You must do this. If it takes three, four, five showers in a day, it doesn't matter. For a sadhaka, it's good to shower many times a day. You shouldn't overdo it, but there were times when I used to shower minimum five to seven times a day. Now it's come down to maybe two definitely, sometimes three. Two is a must for you, more is good. Any kind of physical contact happens with somebody, a period of more than let's say six minutes, if you're even holding somebody's hand. Before you do yoga, it's best that you have a shower. This is not a cleansing thing. We are not trying to clean the body, that's not the point. It's not because somebody is impure, you're trying to clean your body. Yoga is a way of organizing your energies into an individual. So if any kind of transaction happened too much, if I come and sit in a program, I'm not even physically touching anybody, 
If I sit in a program for two, three hours, first thing is shout. Because just the interaction creates a certain amount of… Uh, the integrity of your energy becomes little loose. So at any time, first thing when you go home, shout.